Giants Live have just announced the 13 athlete lineup for this year's Europe's Strongest Man. And I have to say, looking at this lineup, it's one of the best I've seen in a long time. So over the last few years with COVID and a few other things, Europe's Strongest Man hasn't had the, the European representation that we all want to see, but that is changing this year. Yeah. I've seen the lineup, I'm super impressed with it, and I have to say, very, very excited for this year's Europe's. It really is a good lineup this year, and I love the fact that it's a bigger lineup, because we've talked in recent years about how Europe's Strongest Man is a big title, and we'd like to see it slightly different to the rest of the Giants Live shows, and I feel like we're getting that this year. Yeah. yeah, Euro Strongest Man is a huge title. It can really skyrocket an athlete's career. Mm -hmm. I know from personal experience. But this year's competition just looks really, really good. It looks good. I'm like, excited. Great athletes, a great variety of athletes, mm -hmm. and an opportunity for new athletes as well that I know a lot of people have been talking about, but we don't often see them invited to these big contests. So with that all being said, should we dive in and look at the athletes yes. for this year's contest? First off then, we have Alexei Novikov, current Europe's strongest man, back to defend his title in 2023. And this is gonna be Alexei's first contest of 2023. Yes. Normally a very, very busy man. He's missing this year's Arnold's mm. to focus on Europe's and world's strongest man. I think that rest is needed. He looked tired towards the end of last year. He had an incredible year. And an incredible end to it, winning the Rogue Invitational as well. Yeah. Every single time that man competes, he is a threat to the competition. Absolutely. So he's going to be one of the favourites for sure. Next up, we have everyone's favourite Irishman, Pa O'Dwyer. Unfortunately, he had to miss Britain's Strongest Man. He had a very solid performance at last year's Britain's coming second and also placed fourth at the Arnold UK's last year. Other than that, didn't do a huge amount in terms of competition. He needs to prove himself in this one. This is going to be a big competition for Pa. Some good events for him. If he comes in, in shape he's always dangerous next up we have pavlo kordiaka also known as handsome pavlo now pavlo he competed at europe's strongest man last year and he narrowly missed out on the podium there so excited to see pavlo back he's just he's such an impressive athlete he's not the i say he's not that big you're like he's a giant but he's not do you know what I mean? he's, he's very athletic, athletic. yes yeah yes. he is very athletic looking and i think he's got good events in this contest yeah, definitely We've got another Ukrainian, Wide Pavlo, Pavlo Nekonechny. This guy is just a beast and I cannot wait to see him. He looked like he's making good progress last year, won a Giants live show. He's got the Arnold Strongman Classic to focus on. He's got World Strongest Man this year. It's gonna be a busy year for the Ukrainians and you know, three beastly Ukrainians yeah. competing at Europe's Strongest Man. That could potentially be a podium. That could absolutely be a podium. And what fascinates me, we're used to seeing three British athletes at Europe's. Have we ever seen three from another nation in the same competition? I'm not convinced we have, we'll have to look it up, but it just goes to show the depth of talent in Ukraine right yeah. now. Next up is Konstantin Janasha, the Georgian Bull, and he was third place last year at this competition. So we know he's going to want to be back on that podium this year. Didn't compete an awful lot last year and struggling a little bit with It injuries. wasn't the best year for him. He had a good solid performance at Europe's. Other than that, not the best year. First time we've ever seen him go to World's Strongest Man and not make the final. Yes. But training hard, he's looking massive. When you see his training videos and the photos he's posting up, he's just posted a recent photo of him next to Lissis. I and Lissis looks small. Yeah, they put <laughs> I think they out-angled Lissus a little bit. He was in yeah. the middle, so. <laughs> but Janasha, always good to watch and uh, a hell of a strong man. I just want to see him come in in shape and, and yeah. really battle for the title. Next from Estonia, we have Rauno Heinler, one of the best deadlifters on the planet. I'm sure he's looking forward to the deadlift event. He's had some good performances over the last year. Came second at the Masters. He was third at the Arnold UK and just very recently came second to Mitch Hooper over in Australia. Mm. He's in good form. He wants to prove he's one of the best strong men in Europe and not just a deadlift specialist. Next up is Ivar Schmaxtelis from Latvia. And I'm so excited to see Ivar's come back to Europe because we know he is in shape right now. In the last six competitions he competed in, he has placed either first or second. So, and we know how experienced he is and how dangerous a uh, prepared he's, that Ivar is. He's just is. a great all round strong man. He didn't have the best start to 2022. He had other things going on. He was on. focused on other things, but the second half of the year, he was just unbelievable. Mm. Second place at the World Tour Finals. Yeah. He was the winner at the Strongman Champions League finals and just consistently podium after podium after podium. He's a great strongman and in shape, he's a danger to everyone. 
Next up, he's just won Britain's Strongest Man for a second time. Adam Bishop is coming back to Europe. And he's been a little bit ooh, about Europe. So he feels like he was cursed at Europe because he's had some horrible luck there with injuries and, you know, mishaps. So. Well, if he can bring the form that he brought to Britain's Strongest Man into Europe, I think Bish can do very, very well. Yeah, definitely. You know, great events for Bish. Other than maybe the log, I think, you know, his pressing with the tricep injury mm. is a little bit down. But the other four events, very, very good for him. Yeah. And he's in great shape. He looks like he's back to focusing on all-round strongman ability. Amazing performance at Britain's. It's going to be a handful at Europe's. Next up is an interesting one and a great addition to Europe's. Representing France, Jean-Stephen Korobov, otherwise known as Coco. Excellent log lifter. And this is what we want to see. We want to see different representation at these Giants live shows. So you're getting these athletes. We can see them against some of the best in the world and see what they're made of. I'm looking forward to seeing Coco coming over and doing the best. He's a great log lifter. He'll be looking forward to that log medley for sure. So on a similar note, we also have Dennis Chorus coming over for the competition, who's two-time Germany's strongest man. So really cool to see these national champions make their way into Europe, as they should do. This is what we want to see. The top guys in various European countries going forward to Europe's strongest man. Yeah. And people have been talking about Dennis for a long time. Yeah. I'm looking forward to seeing what he can do with this opportunity. Okay, another super popular athlete that everyone looks forward to seeing, Gav Bilton. And Gav has made tremendous progress yes. over the last few years. He's looking fitter, he's looking stronger, he's looking more athletic, and his results are getting better. Gav Bilton, second place at Britain's Strongest Man this year. He will be competing at Europe's Strongest Man. Next up is Athor Ingolfsson Melsted, who'll be representing Eisen. Now, Athor, he made the final of Worlds last year, and he was third place at the Magnus Ver Magnussen Classic. And he's someone who's really been on the rise the last couple of years as well. He's made the final of Worlds the last two years in a row. <laughs> yeah, which is, it's impressive. Yeah. Then we have the powerhouse that is Graham Hicks, someone that I know is capable of winning a major title. If he can just get it right on the day, sometimes just, you know, when you look at his recent performances, I don't think he's brought his absolute best. It's not that he's done badly, but we all have great expectations when it comes to Hicksy knowing how physically strong he is. Can he bring his best and perform like we all know he can at Europe's Strongest Man? And then finally, two reserves have been announced for this competition, Shane Flowers and Paul Smith. And I love that they've done this. This is another thing we've all been asking for. Have a good list of reserves. Put them out early so those guys can train and you're not doing these last minute call ups. So uh, very, very, very pleased with Here, Giants Live. Here's a question. Go. If one person pulls out, who would you put in first? I'd put Shane Flowers because Paul has qualified for this. Wow, he's been invited to this year's Worlds. Shane Flowers, obviously, Britain's was a bit of a disaster for him. So I'd like to see him get the opportunity personally. I agree. I think Paul will want to focus on a big yeah. performance at Worlds, take that opportunity, and Shane had an amazing performance at last year's Europe's Strongest Man. Yeah. It would be good to see him back if someone happens to pull out. A quick reminder of the events that they're going to be doing then. We know that we have a log medley in this competition. There's going to be a deadlift for reps and this time on a normal bar, not their usual axle bar setup. There's going to be a Conan's wheel. There will be a medley where they'll be loading into a wheelbarrow and then they'll have to wheelbarrow it back. And then finally, they'll be finishing on the Atlas Stones. So immediately, like, Guys like Bish stand out on there. There's like four really, really good events for him. I think Pavlo Kordiaka has four really good events. Yeah. Alexi is always dangerous. I think Pavlo Nekonechny is going to be dangerous. Ivers, Rauno, Par's got some good events. I know Par's really good on things like the Conan Circle. Yeah, I think, I, honestly, I think with this lineup and these events, we're going to see some really good names out of the top five. I honestly feel like this is going to be one of the best Europe's ever. Should be a real battle. So the competition is on the 1st of April at Leeds First Direct Arena. Once again, returning to Leeds. Tickets are still available. I'll include a link in the description below. And it is streamable on Official Strongman. Do you know what? I found out why it's not on Facebook anymore. Facebook paid events are going. They oh. finish in May. I had an email recently. So that's why Giants Live is no longer going to be shown on Facebook. There you go. Right, guys, let us know what you think of the lineup. Some exciting new names, some returning incredible athletes. Obviously, Novikov back competing again. Always exciting to see him. Let us know your thoughts. Remember to like, share, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.